Are you here for the scent? That's not why I'm here. If you're not here for the scent, then you're here for me. What do you want? I need what's in your head. That you cannot have.
are useful. Are you here for the synth? That's not why I'm here. If you're not here for the synth, then you're here for me. What do you want? I need what's in your head. That you cannot have. Trust you to help me. Who are you? We'll talk once you open the door. I promise I won't run. The guard put the password in a toolbox over there under the stairs. Use it to gain access to the terminal and open the door. If you're going to kill me, then do it. Hi. I don't want to die. Hey. Don't shoot. In the toolbox. not a herd. I'm a superhero. I do this for a living. My institute designation is K-198, but I prefer Jenny. So yes, I'm a synth, if you hadn't already guessed. I knew they'd send a courser. I just didn't think you'd find me so fast. I think I would have lost him too. But then I was captured by these mercenaries. And all this happened. Thanks again for your help. I'm gonna look for supplies before heading out. And before you ask, no, I don't need any more help. The Commonwealth is unforgiving. I need to make it on my own or I'm dead. Maybe we'll meet again under better circumstances. I hope we do. If you're going to kill me, then do it.
could figure out a good use for it. Hey. Where to? Hey, Piper. So, you found a minute for me yet? Something up? Well, yeah, but it's nothing bad. Just what you said about Nat. I've been going over it again and again in my head, and what you said was right. I'm not going to be the deciding factor in what becomes of Nat. She's going to figure that out for herself. It's just... Sometimes it feels like the only things I've got in life are Nat and the paper. Having someone I can count on, someone like you, it's meant a lot to me. Not a lot of people want to hang around with the nosy reporter. A little girl in a printing press. Sounds like a rich life you've made for yourself. Ain't that the truth? I mean, I never started the paper to make friends. I just wanted to write the things I thought were wrong. And when Nat and I first got to Diamond City, there was a lot of wrong. Crooked guards, lousy infrastructure. <laughs> there was a hole in the exterior wall that was patched over with a bookcase. One bookcase. That's it. I started the paper more as an act of desperation than anything else. It turned out I wasn't the only one who wanted things to change. After the first couple of editions, People may not have agreed with what I said, but everyone was listening. Sounds like you really cleaned up Diamond City. Well, a lot of things got done. They even put a second bookshelf over that hole and patched it with bricks. When that first edition hit the stands, I felt like I'd finally done something worth doing. But afterwards, things, things changed. People didn't want to talk the way they used to. It seemed that overnight I'd gone from being Piper, friend and confidant, to Piper, the nosy snoop. A lot of folks, they haven't treated me the same since. I started to feel like the only person I could count on was my little sis. I'm sure it's nothing personal. Maybe not, but the result's still the same. Or it was, until you came along. You're not afraid of me like everyone else. I was sure that the paper would be the best thing I ever did in my life, but being here with you now, now I don't know. I've needed someone like you in my life for a long time, Blue. I just never expected I'd actually get them. So thank you for being the friend I can count on. It sounds to me like you're interested in becoming more than just friends. Oh, I... I mean... <laughs> well, I'd be lying if I said I never thought about you that way. Not that I'm always thinking that way. It's just... Blue. I'm loud and pushy and constantly getting in over my head. Why would someone like you ever want someone like me? All we've been through? I've already seen you at your worst. And you're still here, aren't you? <laughs> Goodness, Blue, I... I don't know what to say. You're everything I could ever ask for. Come on. Let's not keep the world waiting. 